In previous videos, we have shown how you can create new devices in the ThinksBoard platform, how you can send your data to the platform from these devices, and how you can visualize them on the platform's dashboards. Now, we're going to uh, visualize alarms from these devices again on the dashboard. For example, we might have a DHT sensor connected to an ESP32 module and we would like to create device if temperature or humidity exceed some specific uh, threshold values. For this, there are two requirements from our side. First, we need to create an alert widget on our dashboard and then we have to create a rule that reads the data, examines if the threshold value has been exceeded and creates the alarm that the alarm widget will catch. So let's begin with the easy part. We go to our dashboards. We use the test dashboard that we have earlier created for this DHT22 device. So we open it, go to edit mode and add a new widget. We select the alarm widgets. There's only one widget in this category. So we click on it and now we have some parameters here to check. First of all, which kind of alarm status we will display. We will display the active uh, alarms because if we clear them, we don't want to keep appear in the alarm widget list. And we also have to select the severity of the alarms that will be presented you can select specifically critical major or all of them if you would like it's your choice and then we have to select from which device these alarms have to be captured so back here we have entity we select in the entity alias the alias that we have created earlier for our device when we uh, created the dashboard that is my ESP32 in that case and I select add here so I have a very simple alarm widget here that currently doesn't capture anything because we haven't created the alarm itself. Let's save this and get back to rule chains. Here you only find the root rule chain, but this is for standard procedures of uh, what the platform does with your data. We need to add another rule for checking the values of temperature and humidity that our device sends. So we press add rule chain, create new rule chain. Let's name it something like that. This name appeared because I have used it previously. So no need for a description, add and open it. Now we have a very uh, simple canvas here with only one block, the input block. To create our alarm, we need to use some script that will check if our value of temperature or humidity, whatever you like, 
is above some certain threshold. This is an example that came here. So I will name my script as check if let's say humidity is above 60. So I will change accordingly this. The MSG, as you see, stays, and here I'm writing the key that I'm using from uh, the device telemetry. Remember that our device sends humidity and temperature. This is the message, so it checks the humidity in the telemetry to see if it is above 60, as I described in the title. You can also test the filter function. You can press here. There, these are some uh, demo data for temperature and humidity. I will press test and see that the output is true. If humidity is 78, that is above 60, the output is true. So it works. I will add this to my script and I have to connect the input that creates the message from the telemetry of the device to the script. So data from the telemetry come to the script and we check there if our humidity variable is above 60. And what happens in that case? We have to go down to the alerts alarm create an alarm you see that some ready code appears here we don't need to change anything here I just give a name to my alarm and add it here and there's also a clear alarm block again I'm not changing anything in the code and now I connect the script to my create alarm when when it is true when humidity is above create this alarm above 60 and when it is false you have to clear the alarm so now our rule chain that creates that simple alert is ready I apply the changes and I'm going to the next step. Now we have created the rule chain about this simple alert, but this alert does not do anything yet unless we incorporate it to the root rule chain, which is this one. So we open this chain and we have to put our new chain, our newly created chain of the simple alert at this point and connect it with the save time series block. So I have to go down here, get a new rule chain block. I will name it like this, check if humidity is above 60. I use this simple alert that I have earlier created, so I add it. Uh, since I don't have too much space here, I will go full screen and put it right here and connect it 
with save time series. Success. That means that when we have successfully saved data in the time series from our device, this data should go as a message to this rule chain to check what our rule is to create an alarm if humidity is above 60 or clear the alarm if humidity is less than 60. So we apply the changes and now go back to exit full screen, go to our dashboard and open the test dashboard. Okay, now we're ready and we don't see any uh, alarms here yet. Actually, we don't have any uh, measurements here too because I use simulation and when I'm away from the window, the simulation video, uh, it does not send anything. I will rerun the code, the simulation. So, now data are sent. What are the data that we're sending? Currently it is 24.7 degrees centigrade and 42% for humidity. So that means that if I go back to my dashboard, I see some measurements here. Let's make it the last two minutes because it seems empty. No alarms yet and that's normal because we're going to set an alarm if the humidity exceeds 60% and right now it's only 42%. Uh, okay, let's go back to our simulation window just to be sure I will start the simulation again. Let it send uh, one or two pairs of temperature and humidity. And now I'm going to move the humidity slider to, let's say, 63, which is above the threshold. I have defined in my alarm. So the data are sent. Let's see here you are. You see that at 14.20 humidity exceeded the threshold of 60 and this is what our alarm widget has catched. You see we have an alarm from our test device. It is critical. It is active and unacknowledged. That means that if I go here and acknowledge it, this status changed. And I can also clear it. Remember that when we uh, created the alarm widget, we said that it will keep only active. We selected to keep only active uh, alarms, not cleared. So that's why it disappeared. Of course, my simulation stopped sending measurements. Let's go back. Restart simulation. Sending some data and you see that now that we have sent again uh, the 63% humidity measurement the alarm reappeared. So that's the simplest way to create and demonstrate an alarm 
from the measurements that you take from your uh, device and upload into ThingSport.